Buona sera and good evening everybody, Mammoth Plan here. How are you all doing today? Welcome back to Soma on the Xbox One. Thank you guys very much for coming to hang out, great to see you again, hope you're all doing well. I'm having a great time playing this game, it is absolutely balls to the wall scary and a load, load, bottle load of fun. So let's hop on into it. Now, at the end of the last episode, we, um, a couple of strange things happened. We discovered a strange glow-in-the-dark butthole thing, which apparently seems to heal us, so that's very important and very useful for us to know. Uh, we also found, I believe I'm actually very much near nearby, Yes, indeed. Just back over here. Now, this is literally where I respawned at the end of the last episode after our fatal death. We found this little dude over here, um, who is now no longer with us. He's gone now. Um, but I had some very, very curious things about this. I, I love the voice acting because this little guy actually seemed scared. He really did actually seem worried that he was going to die, which is really, really interesting. Um, not entirely sure what is going on or how or what it has to do with us, or anything like that. But once we disconnected him from the power, we managed to play this little mini puzzle to get the power all balanced up, and a broken radio fired up, and we spoke to a woman, and she said that we are indeed in a power facility, and we need to be finding the radio comms room, which is a large room with a domed ceiling, and then we'll be able to get in contact with her again. So that's definitely an interesting thing. Um, of course, completing that actually unlocked all of the doors in the, in the facility, and we ran into the monster dude that we saw at the beginning or the end of the last of the first episode um, and yeah he's still about and we have a huge huge hard time getting past him now I'm actually kicking myself right after recording I kind of went and I realized just over there there's a lever and I bet that lever opens the door that we were right at and we could have probably managed to make it past without a huge huge worry so let's head back down this ladder I know the falling off of that kills me and I know that this is going to collapse as soon as we hit the floor here there we go. So now we're stuck down here. At any moment, we're going to see the super peeved guy. I believe he comes through there. Yep. Yep, here he comes. Now, he is very, very angry about everything in his life. He is a very, very grumpy, grumpy creature. But we can pick up and throw things. Um, now, this was actually something that I figured out just as the tooltip arrived. Here he comes. Now, thankfully, this guy's got quite the glow on him. Oh, good lord. Pick it up. Crouch. Oh, dear. Okay, he's already angry, and I think he's already seen us. Go. Oh, dear. Okay, now this isn't going to work because we have to get up there and turn that valve. And he will see us if I go up there right now. So let's try this again. We really can't throw very far. Like, Keep using the left trigger to pick stuff up. And it's not right. It's the right trigger and then the left bumper. Oh, dear lord. No, 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 no. Okay. Now's our chance. Okay, now we're going to sneak. We're going to be going and checking out that thing. We're going to head up here. Okay. Hold this. Oh. The problem is that that's going to make a huge amount of noise and that's definitely going to attract his attention. And he's going to try and come up here and then he's going to come down here and oh, that's really going to hurt us but we're going to deal with it. Oh dear lord. Run. Run, 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 run. I'd love to know what's inside of that room. Oh wait, did we lose him? Oh, I feel like we've lost him. Now again, I'm sure this lever is the one we needed to pull. Boom. Yep, surely enough that has indeed opened the door. I really want to try and scope out the rest of this area. I feel like we might be missing something. Oh, I'm pretty sure he's looking right at us. Are you going to continue about your day? And let me kind of know he's coming for us. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Thank God there's a door to shot him. Peace out, buddy. Okay. I believe we'll be safe for the moment. Holy nuts. That's really upsetting because I have a feeling there's some other stuff around there that I'd like to check out and explore, but I'm not going back down there. There's no way I'm going back down there. Um, 
Yeah, no, not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. We'll leave him to his thing. We managed to get past him. Hooray! That was that was okay. Not too bad at all. So let us continue on our adventure here. Now I imagine we're a little bit hurt from that fall. Ah, look, there's one of those glowy butthole things. Woo! Okay, some, somebody's somewhere, somebody's hurt. Um, ooh, we've got more funky drawings around. Ah, oh, look at the little frog diode with the little diving suit on, that's cool. Okay. Amy and Carl in Pathos Buddies. <laughs> It's super cool. There's a real artist skill in one of these guys. Real artist skill. Explore. I'd love to. Any of these I can have a look at? No, just loads of postcards and things. It looks like somebody's been camping out here. Oh, the open rations of food and such. Somebody's been kind of trying to stay here. Oh, hello. Communications. That's where we're trying to get to. That must be where we're trying to get to. Uh... Maintenance, pump room, transform hall. Wait, is this the area that we're in now with those two sealed doors? No, it can't be. Oh, wait, there we are. We are here. Okay. Yeah, we are here. Oh, so up the stairs heads to communications. That's excellent. Uh, we came from... This area here, yes, those are the stairs with the areas that are sealed. There's an emergency locker. See, there, I feel like there is stuff back down there that would be quite useful for us. Hmm. Wait, no, this was the area that we were in. Yeah, there's the transform hall. That's where all those, um, that's where the other health part was. Maintenance, the pump room. That door was sealed. Control station A. That's where we actually found that little buddy. And then U2 is the utility tunnel that we actually crawled through there. And that door was indeed sealed. And there's the other utility tunnel that was busted. So that's where we just found that horrible, horrible robot dude who tried to kill our butt. And it looks like indeed this whole area is actually sealed off where we came straight up those stairs. Pump station B. It doesn't appear to be that there's another way into that area, which is a bit of a shame. Okay, so we need to be heading up these stairs into communications. Yeah, surely enough, access to comm center via stairs. And of course, totally powered down. Huge pain in the butt. Okay, let's have a little bit of a mosey around here. We are slightly hurt, so maybe it's a good idea to touch the butthole thing. I don't know. I did notice in the last episode we can only use that once. So I feel like I'll hold on to that for a little while anyway. Let's have a look what this is. Lockdown process initiated. Check terminal for details. Okay. So we need an ID. Okay. Definitely don't have an ID number. That's the thing. Is this the same? Yeah. It also requires an ID. Hmm. Okay. We need to find a login ID for this terminal. That seems to definitely be something. That's obviously locked. Okay, obviously locked, already checked out around there, that door is in yellow, which I believe means that we can open it, either that or everything is actually locked down. No, no, we can get in here, oh no. Are you going to try and kill me? Oh, it's another thing, it's got one of these... Strange things, let's check it out. Oh, 
Oh, so this dude must have killed one of them, and looks like she took care of it with electricity. Got it electromocuted. That's interesting to know. Maybe that's the way we can take care of these. Please rebeat. Ru Rubeat, please reboot the workstation for problem system form administrators. We need to reboot that workstation before this does anything. Just boxes. Don't really want to get too close to that. I've been electromocuted a couple of times. Don't really want it to happen again. Random power cabling. Another busted thing. Okay, doesn't appear to be anything of much importance or use in here. That terminal might be quite useful for us when it powers up though. So that's no longer a thing. Keep hands clear. I'll check out that in a moment. Let's go around the room this way. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. I need some help. Uh, oh. Yeah, you're a little bit dead. You're a little bit dead. Anything hiding in the corner? Oh, this looks like a good place to hide. Keep that in mind. That looks like a good place to hide. Oh, dear. No, I think we're okay there. Okay, he's dead. He's dead. Oh yeah, he's he's definitely dead. He he looks very 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 dead. He's green. He's been dead a long time actually. He's been dead quite a while. Aha. Aha. Carl Segman. Ah, Carl Semkin. Where have I? I've heard that name once before already. Where did we hear that name before? I'm sure we've heard that name before. ID 0722. Okay, excellent. So we'll use his number to be able to power up that station, I believe. We have got a way to explore up here. We may as well check it out, I suppose. Why wouldn't we? More of these strange suits. Uh, the ta TA turn around. We sealed Upsilon to keep it working. Don't fuck it up. Hey, Azura, Carl was not my fault. But that doesn't sound good. That doesn't sound good at all. Oh, hello, there's another ID here. Amy Azaro. 0735. Yeah, nothing in that one. I'm going to forget the numbers, but we can have a look when we go back down towards the center. Um, I'm going to guess that's not good. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to guess, Flood Hazard, that we shouldn't open that door. Yeah, I'm going to assume we're not going to open that. Mind your head. Oh, I will. I will indeed mind my head. Okay, all right, moving swiftly onwards. Um... Back to go and power up that terminal, I assume. Let's check this guy's ID. It was 0722, I think. 0722. And I just noticed there's a mine here. I think it's called a data mine. Did you get the final backup turbos going? Everything is wired evenly. We've hedged our bets as much as we possibly can. So that's it. Enough power to run Pathos 2 until the next apocalypse. We're ready to go. I really hope we didn't mess anything up. I don't want to have to come back here again. Relax, it's over. We're going to Theta. Maybe we should seal more blocks. I don't trust the helpers to let this place run in peace. We've sealed everything. Everything from the barracks to the comm center. If anyone ever sets their foot here again, they're going to have a hell of a time getting a rock That would be when that... That would have been when that other robot thing attacked it. It's strange. It's like we're, we're hearing the recordings of their last few moments in life, which is really weird. Um, not quite sure how that's happen happening, but it's still, I'm guessing it's kind of like an audio diary that we can collect. Strangely. Very, very strangely. There's terminals and stuff going on over here. Oh, there's another... There's another robot thing there. Should we go have a look? I feel like we should go have a look. We haven't been through this door yet. Okay.
Hi, buddy. What are you? Are you blind? It's me. Carl. Carl Semke. Wrangler. Any of this sound familiar to you? I no, actually. Well, thanks for being so helpful. It's not like I'm knocked out on the floor or anything. Um, dude. Are you human? Shit. Did, did my body give it away? I try hard saying a mystery. Yeah, I'm human. Are you? Uh, my name is Simon. Do you know anything about this place? Oh, you knew. That makes us slightly less weird. Look, I'm obviously hurt. If you see anyone else around, just tell them where I am. Um, you're more than hurt. Everything. Are you go diving in sewage or something? What? No, I'm fine. What's wrong with your everything? Hello? Can you hear me? It's me, Carl, calling from the floor. Like, right next to you. So, where are you, exactly? Are you for real? I'm right here. See me waiting? Look at my hands. Okay, okay, I, I'm just, I'm just gonna be, I, I'm not seeing it. I, I see a machine, a robot talking. What the hell are you looking at? I'm here, see? Uh, okay, I, I just didn't expect you to look like that. You're really hung up on appearances, you know that? <laughs> um, dude. Dude, you're, you're not human. Oh man, this is weird. So he's, he's dead. He's, he's actually dead, Carl Semkin. We saw his body over there. He is dead. But somehow, he's he's been put into a machine, and he thinks that he's still human, and he thinks that he's still alive. He thinks he's injured. How did you hurt yourself? Not sure. Blacked out pretty bad. Can't remember how I got here. What do you remember then? I was in the pilot seat, promoting a UH. UH? A universal helper. You know, a robot like these things, but livelier. Anyway, I was just dealing with some heat shields, and that's my last clay memory. So the pilot seat allows you to control vehicles, and this is one of the helpers. And he must have died when he was in the seat, and now he's... Oh no, and now he's stuck. He's in the Matrix, man, he's trapped. Oh man, um... What do you need you me to do? Remote controlling a robot. We do it all the time. Robots are too on a way to deal with some stuff. Intuition doesn't grow on motherboards, you know. Did you maybe get trapped in the robot somehow? Your mind is pretty tightly wired to the helper, but nah, pretty far fetched. Oh, dude. Listen, I don't want to alarm you. Yeah. But I think you might be trapped in a robot. I'm telling you, get your eyes checked. I'm right here. I see both my hands, both my feet. When you remote, all you see is like a video feed from the helper unit. Your own body is entirely out of the picture. I don't understand. Let's keep talking to him, see what else we can figure out here. Let him know where I am. Okay, if I see the others, let them know where you are. Uh, okay, I guess. Dude, this is seriously messed up. What am I going to be able to do to help this guy? There's a lever here. I mean, th th there's nothing I can do to help him. He he's dead. His body is torn to bits. The, he, it's half decayed. There is nothing I could do to try and get him back. Oh man, this is freaking brutal. This is freaking brutal. Um. I'm very much unsure what else I need to do here. I need to reboot this system. Let's log in using his access code, um, which was 0722, if I remember correctly, um, and see what we can do to get everything rebooted and up and running here. I mean, this is him. This is Carl Semkin. 0722. I mean, last thing he remembers was being wired into a helper unit, so he doesn't remember any of this. That's where we saw that name before, because we saw the, um, he was, he was wiring in and he was replacing a heat shield. That was on the terminal next to the chair that we woke up, which must have been the pilot seat. 
Hmm, I'm, I'm not liking where this is going. I am not liking where this is going. Okay, 0722, let's log in with his ID. And let's, um, let's kind of ignore the fact that he was in that chair and something went wrong and now he's a robot. But wait, hang on a minute, because that would mean that he actually got out of the chair and went off to do whatever he's done that resulted in his death. So how did he get... I'm very confused. Very confused indeed. Okay. Logged in as Carl Semkin. How's it going? Uh, uh, mail. Let's see if there's anything of interest in here. Uh, reply, reply. Upsilon auto processes. Power production has been secured. We've sealed off the factories to keep the plant running. All superfluous systems have been turned off. If anyone tries to enter to return, know that the power flow regulator is hanging by a thread. If you flip the switch, it's probably a no turning back situation. We're out of here. That was never sent. Should I send it? Oh, I may have not sent. Link couldn't be established. Fair enough. So this seems to be all that he's got. Whoop, whoopsie, pardon me. Um, email wise, fair enough. Power manager, thermal chamber is non applicable, storage is off, flow control off, siphon is off, construction factory off, and comm center off. Okay. Staff, chief administrator. There's Amy, Zoro Amy. We sure saw her ID in the locker as well. And then Wranglers, Carl Semkin. Upsilon control desk and Shankar. Hmm. And then log out. Alright, that's not giving me much useful information here, really. Except for the power manager. What does the other terminal give us the interest of? Should we log in as that Amy? Maybe her ID will give us a little bit more information about what we need here. Uh, we found her ID just past here and up the stairs. Let's try and get an idea. I mean, again, I can't remember the four digits, so it's, it's an absolute miracle that I remember my freaking bank account PIN number, let alone my mobile number, which has changed recently and can't remember for the life of me. Let's see here, 0735. Okay. So let's see what her ID gives us on that other terminal. Maybe that will help. Maybe she was higher ranking or something. Probably could have checked that out, really. It is just that tiny bit blurry. I believe that's because we're actually injured, but I'm saving that... Um, that strange thing. Don't even know what it is. Serious 735. Log Demons, Amy Azaro. Status. Uh, maximum capacity is 710 megawatts. Production is 60%. Frequency and voltage. Very nice. I keep using the wrong button. Event log. Heat shield burnt out. Turbine overheating. Crate disrupts plateau. Channel impact. Okay. Lambo Lambda blackout. Omicron blackout. Delta, severe blackout, heat shield burnt out. Alright, power output. 2103. That's definitely the year that we're in, so yeah, that's super strange still. And then log out. Hmm. Fairly unsure how to proceed here. Fairly unsure how to proceed here. Um, that's definitely locked out. Maybe we're needing to change the power around here somehow. Was there anything in here? It was just the um, the dead dude, which I really want to close this door so he doesn't freaking randomly spring to life again. Um, we need to restart the workstation before I can get this terminal powered up. Hmm. Let's have a look at the other control panel that was out here. There was another one just down here. Terminal locked. Yeah, I'm here. Don't worry, buddy. I'm trying to figure it out offline. Warning. Online. And warning. Don't know what any of this is meaning for me. Yeah, I know, dude. I'm right here. What do you want? That's what I'm trying to do, man. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to help you. Let's see what this is. This is a power generator. feel like that wasn't a good thing. Oh! Oh, balls! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think I pulled the wrong lever. Yeah. Don't sweat it. Just get me a doctor. I... 
Are you sure you don't mean a mechanic? Um, I'm trying, buddy. I'm trying. I don't know how I can help. I have a feeling that I need to turn that on to be able to use this stuff. You know what? Let's go ahead and grab this strange thing. There we are. That gets rid of that crazy blurriness for us. Oh. I forgot. That always seems to pull a lot of power anytime I use one of those. Weird. Just weird. Um, okay. So the only thing I seem to be able to do is to be able to turn... Is to turn that switch on. Alright, buddy. This is really gonna hurt. I'm trying, man. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, dude. This is really gonna hurt you. Um, oh, wait, I can see it now. Power cable runs through you. And it's heading over this way. Under that door. Okay, that doesn't really answer many questions for me. Alright, dude, I'm sorry. This is all I can do. I'm sorry, buddy. There's, I have no choice about it. Just hold on. I'll try and be quick. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry, dude. I'll try and be quick. I'll try and be quick. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing with this power turned on. I have no idea, but this poor dude. Hold on, man. Hold on. Don't, don't, don't give in, don't give in. You can do it. I believe in you. I know it hurts. You'll be okay. I have no idea what the balls I'm doing. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Ah. Insufficient power. Okay, so storage and flow control I've been able to turn on. Now, my question is, if I go and turn this off and save this guy this pain of being electrocuted, will it, um... Well, I'm stopping, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's alright there, dude. It's alright. Here you go. Are you okay? He doesn't sound okay. You okay? Hey. Hello? I'm not getting anything out of him now. Can you hear me? I have a feeling some of his circuits are fried. Oh, uh, no wait, there we go. He's, he's literally on death's door. He's not going to survive. Now, question is, did that keep everything powered? It appears to. Maybe I actually didn't need to do that at all. Oh, God. Oh, God. So let's see here. I managed to turn on the storage, which is this door. Right, okay. Starting to get an idea of it. Starting to get an idea of what we're trying to do here. Good lord, I'm really confused right now. Really confused. So is there anything even in storage? The CCRV black box implant. This black box is a precision instrument designed to observe your overall condition. It measures a wide range of data from body temperature to brainwave activity. This information is constantly relayed pathos to warden unit. Wow. Okay. So the station can provide you the appropriate climate for every situation. Your performance, please follow the auto injector instructions carefully to make sure the implant is properly applied. Ooh, that's crazy. Maybe that's what we're reading, is the black box. Oh, is this one of them? Oh, it is. Oh my god, it's freaking huge. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna put that there. We're gonna leave that there. Right, so did I even need to come in here is a good question. That's curious. So that's the storage room. There's flow control, thermal chamber. I kind of want to see if I can access any more of these. If I turn that off, can I... Insufficient power. 
It looks like some of these I can't actually do anything about. Insufficient power. Solution found. Shut down one of the highlighted sections to divert power to the communications center. Okay, fair enough. Uh, we are there. So, shut down the power in the little factory room where that dude is. And the other one is at the end of the hall. Down that way. No, I, I don't know what to do about this guy. I don't know whether to... to just leave the power on and fry him or to leave him there I mean nobody's going to be coming to help him that's definitely a thing here we go flow control oh wait no what is this it is flow control that's very very blurred for me read this okay read this I was going to say we strained the system if you pull the lever there's no turning back make sure you want it bad enough. Okay. So it looks like we have a choice here. We can either turn on the turn off the power here, which would probably start this place into some kind of overheat and some meltdown or something atrociously terrible. Um, or we can turn the switch back over by this dude and fry him yes because there's no power running through there so we need to turn on that to run the power through this poor guy hello who's literally got nothing else to say now or we can risk turning the other switch and not entirely sure what that will do um, Admittedly, I don't think there's any saving that guy. Uh, I really don't. I don't think there's anything we can do for him. And if I flip that switch and it kind of makes this facility explode, then it's all over for him as well. But um, either way, we need to do something to be able to get through here into the comm center to be able to progress in the game a little bit further. So I'm very unsure what to do. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to leave it to you guys. Uh, what do you think the choice that we should make here is? Should we pull that switch and electrocute that robot thing that thinks it's a human or it is a human trapped inside a robot or something weird going on there, not entirely sure um, or should we flick the other switch um, which says that something terrible will happen if we flick it so I'm not entirely sure I'm really not, either way I'm going to leave it up to you guys as to which decision we're going to make um, I'm really enjoying this I'm really really quite confused I think I have a rough idea about what's happening here um, but I don't want to say anything about it quite yet because I'm, I'm not sure if I'm right. I'm not sure if I'm right. But yeah, uh, we'll leave it there and we'll, uh, we'll pick this up in another couple of days and uh, hopefully take you guys' suggestion and uh, we'll progress a little bit further and see what happens with it all. Absolutely loving it. Freaking great. What a roller coaster. And it's really quite emotional as well. That poor, poor thing. Really, really strange. But nevertheless, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. Um, if you are enjoying it and you want to see some more, hit the like button for me. And of course, if you want to see even more than that, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any episodes coming to the channel in the next few days. I greatly love you all, and I will see you all in the next episode. Take care, everybody. See you later. Bye-bye.